Hi, it's Craig. I'm going to teach you how to write a Python game that will run on an Android mobile phone. To get the graphics working, I've used the Pi game library. My son wrote this game. He's a teenager. It's a 2D side-scroller game. He likes to run. So it's a typical game where you're running through a series of ruins and you can jump over obstacles. Before we can get here, we're going to have to first practice a lot of fundamentals. The basic fundamental of this first lesson is the blank screen. So we're going to drop into that right now. First thing you need to do is make sure you have Python and Pygame installed. These are both free. You can just go to pygame.org if you don't already have it installed. Drop it in. This one uses the uh, Python 2.7. It's the most common. The first thing you need to do in Python is to import some libraries. We're going to import the Pygame library and the Sys library. Next thing you need to do is to initialize the Pygame libraries. Just do it right at the top. After the libraries are initialized, you need to decide on the screen size. I'm going to set the screen size to 480 times 320. This is the size of my, my son's phone. Another thing to do is to set up the screen. The key command here is pygame.display.set underscore mode, and then you drop in the size right there. All this documentation is freely available on the pygame.org site. If you don't understand, what it is at this stage, I would just keep going forward, just uh, type it in as you see it. Set up an infinite loop. You have to check for some events. An event is, for example, a keyboard press, a mouse button press, these type of things. Pygame will using the pygame.event.get command, you'll be able to set up a list of events. If you don't know what this means at this stage, just keep going forward and copy it exactly to see it. Python is tab sensitive. If your tabs are not correctly aligned, you will get it in error. Next thing you're gonna do is to check for The event type. Main thing I want to do here is to check to see if the if the user clicks on one of these cross arrows that quits that quits the window. Without this, you may be stuck in infinite loop. So if it is quit, then first quit Pi game and quit the system. Finish it with a pygame.display.update. Execute it. You have a blank screen. This is the end of the first lesson. I would suggest practicing this multiple times. Like for example, set aside half an hour, maybe even an hour. Run this thing five times. Start off with a blank screen five times in a row. If that's too long, do it two or three times. Just because you can type it in and get it to work with no errors does not mean that you have mastered it. You need to do this again and again. And don't just do it five times in one day and then stop. I would suggest doing this as a regular drill. You start off with a completely blank screen of the text editor. You type it all in, make sure it runs. Get the run the code, make sure that the screen is working like this, and then do it again. After this, you can move to a square, but this framework is the basis of all programs. Unless you can understand what these various things do, or at least type it in without error, you, you will get stuck. If you don't understand what it means, I think 
just keep going forward. Eventually, a lot of these things will become clearer. The display.